This is lecture two on diodes. Now the n-type material is different than the p-type material. The charge, car charge carriers are electrons because in the p-type material there are no walls. There's lots of free space and there's lots of electron particles. So the particles just move through the material without any walls. So it is free to carry the charge through the material without any blocking. So it doesn't need holes. This is the material where there's lots of free space and the electron particles can carry the charge straight through the material. So this is the n-type material. Now if we operated these materials independently, they would act just like a normal conductor. However, when we put p-type material and n-type material together, we create something called a barrier potential. A barrier potential is basically an electronic field. You learned about electronic fields in physics. What you have is you have a wall of potential. Think of it as an empty space. And this empty space creates a large gap, like an energy gap, between in the material. So if an electron wants to get across the energy gap, this electron is going to need lots of energy to cross over. So it can't cross over. However, if you apply a voltage on the material, what will happen is the energy gap will become smaller. And when the energy gap becomes smaller, then those electrons have enough energy to cross over. And there are two materials that we mainly use for this property, and that's silicon and germanium, the most popular being silicon. So if you apply a voltage of at least 0 0.7 volts or greater, then the electrons has the capacity to cross over. So we say the diode switches on if you apply a voltage greater than 0 0.7. So if the power supply is greater, greater than or equal to 0 0.7, then we say that the diode is turned on.